Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So in the last video, we talked about markers. In this video, I want to talk about the most glorious thing in the history of Final Cut Pro 10. We're going to talk about snapping. Now, does anybody here have difficulty aligning clips? Uh, this is what I'm talking about. So say we have, I've got this clip up here. Like say I'm planning on doing a picture in picture and I want it to be right at the, and I want it to end right at the end of this clip right here. Well, you really need to zoom in and play around with it. And like I said, it's very time consuming. It's difficult aligning clips and snapping does the trick. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm just going to move this off to the left. There's a keyboard shortcut for N. It is not S. S is already used or you can click on it right over here. And this is literally like the coolest thing of Final Cut Pro 10. Click on it or hit N, see it's got the little keyboard shortcut that shows up right there. I'm just gonna hit N, so you see that turned on. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this clip to the end. So it's gonna know, see it snapped to my playhead right there, and it snapped to the end of that clip perfectly right there. So as you can see, let's do a little transform on this, and we'll see that both these clips end exactly at the same frame. Nothing under 60 IBUs and nothing under 6%. Okay, we're gonna speed that up a little bit. This video is a little bit longer than I thought. As for the, as for the beer, nothing under six percent. Boom! Perfect, glorious, and it works well with markers too. It doesn't have to be the beginning or end of a clip that uh, Final Cut Pro is going to recognize where to snap to. So say we'll say say we'll say so we'll say that we have a clip right here. We're like, okay, this clip went on way too long. We want to, we're not going to ripple trim. We'll just add a marker. So we're going to do keyboard shortcut M just like that. We've got that that showed up right there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to, let's say, let's ripple trim the audio. See right now, see it snapped to that. I like that. And now it's going to snap to that. And I'm going to go ahead and do a little fade out, quick little fade out. And we would know to, we'll just blade tool that, and I'm going to select that and delete it. So it snapped to the marker, even though it got rid of the marker. Probably kill the audio on that. But that's the gist of it. Taylor Swift would be so proud. All right, guys, good luck with this. You're all legends. Uh, you guys made it to the 61st video. We only got a couple more, and then that's it before we get into motion. So hopefully you guys learn a thing or two in this Final Cut Pro 2016. It's going to go into 2017. Tutorial for beginners. Hopefully you guys learn a thing or two. I'm going to make like three or four more videos today. Then I got to go to work, and then we're going to all party one day in real life and drink beers. All right, guys, good luck. Great job. I'll see you over there.